I was drawing from the age of three, drawing dresses. I remember the first proper dress that I ever made um, for someone was at around age 11, but I remember it was like a this lavender silk satin <laughs> um, bias cut dress, uh, which was in fashion at the time. I look back at those very early years and even still now that's the happiest memories of my life. Most young kids that age would be playing sport and keeping up with their homework, but all he wanted to do was make clothes. He just had that gift and that passion. I think the transition point from working in the lounge room to then becoming Paolo Sebastian really came in around 2007. I really wanted to put on my own fashion show to launch late when I was in year 12. A kid rang me, he was literally a kid, and he's like, hi, my name's Paul Vasiliev and I've designed 15 dresses and I'm gonna have a fashion parade at a local hall and my mum's helping me organise it. Could you come and cover it for the paper? And I'm like, sure. We got a crew down there to shoot for all the paper in the social pages and what we saw was mind boggling. Some of his garments were way beyond anyone of his age. So he sewed by himself, he pattern made, he learned. He got on a plane to Milan and went to fashion school in Milan. He did everything he needed to do to get himself to this point. People always ask me all the time, you know, did you ever think that this is where you would get to be? But honestly, it's the only place I saw myself going. I feel very attached to Paul and I, um, I think we've got a special relationship and I'm sure that's also because I've been able to wear his gowns um, on some really important nights for me uh, professionally and personally at, at many different Logies but on the night that I won the gold Logie I was wearing one of his designs and I'll carry that with me for a long time. Couture is a story, it starts from a piece of paper, it's a journey, it's handcrafted, it's like painting, it's art. He would sit down and draw the dress and I would be mesmerised at how he could just draw this amazing picture of this dress that he'd see in his mind of how it would look on you. And then that final moment where you put it on and you feel completely and utterly transformed. Internationally, to have that level of recognition by a name in a brand that comes out of South Australia is unheard of and unbelievable. His gowns are up there with the best in the world. This is an inspiration to young people to live their dream, make it come true. To put this into perspective, when you get a phone call from a Jennifer Lopez a stylist or a Kendall Jenner stylist or a Kardashian or anyone in particular that is global, that's the moment you know your brand is working and that people are really respecting what you're doing. And I remember our first Oscars dress, which was on Juliana Ranzik, we sent over, you know, about six or so dresses. And I remember getting that call in 6 a.m. the morning of the Oscars. I wake up and I see an Instagram post and she's wearing our dress and you can't even describe it. I was running around the house. <laughs> you could not wipe the smile off my face all day. A few stores that were stocked in internationally, our dresses are on the rack with Versace and Elie Saab. And you can't even fathom that idea that this brand from Adelaide that, you know, started here by this 17 year old kid. <laughs> um, for me, I think that's the strangest feeling. You know, you think of a royal family and the wedding and the fairy tale that that story brings. This story is a fairy tale. Paul is from a, a beautiful, you know, modest family in Adelaide and, and he's grown to the, be this big international designer and it's this amazing fairy tale that will just keep growing. That whole Cinderella moment feeling that you, you, you get when a client puts on their dress, that's probably the reason that I keep doing what I'm doing because that feeling is just so amazing and be able to give someone that moment is incredible.